I've said it before, Santos de Cartier is my favorite of the Cartier creations. And in today's video, I am very excited because we're going to be showcasing two brand new models for 2023 from the Santos de Cartier line. I'm going to be highlighting the key unique aspects of these frames that make them really special. And believe me, they are really special. And finally, we're going to be talking about how you can customize these glasses to make them perfect for you. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And for so many people out there, Cartier are the glasses that they aspire to have. And for many of us who like their glasses to not be too ornate, Santos de Cartier hits the mark just right. Because what people appreciate about Santos de Cartier is it's relatively understated. What exemplifies a Santos de Cartier frame or even a Santos de Cartier watch or item of jewelry are the exposed screws that you see on here adorning this new rimless model. This is the 0408 finished in brushed platinum. That is plated on top of titanium, which makes these frames, believe me, extremely lightweight. I would say the first special thing about these glasses is they are the lightest Cartier rimless glasses I've ever come across, probably that they've ever created. The result is that they feel very, very comfortable to wear, almost weightless, not quite weightless. There's still a nice solidity and sturdiness to them, which a lot of people do really admire about Cartier glasses. When they wear them, they feel special and they feel substantial. You still have that with these frames, but they're just around about 50% of the perceived weight, I would say, on the nose and on the ears. In summary, they feel great. I also love, with these new models, the shield shape, which is characterized by a squared off top, angular corners, and then a rounded bottom. I think that is one of the nicest shapes that Cartier have ever actually released in a rimless frame. I've mentioned before that usually when Cartier are releasing eyewear models, they actually put a really ordinary standard shape in the frames because they know that collectors like to customize them. For once, I think you could keep this shape as it is and it looks absolutely tremendous. What do you think about the shape? Leave that in the comments below. This is definitely new territory for Cartier. For those who don't know, the exposed screws on a Santos de Cartier frame or watch or item of jewelry are very historic actually. You see, roughly 100 years ago, the world's first ever pilot, Alberto Santos Dumont, was struggling to read his pocket watch whilst flying a plane and handling the controls. So he spoke to his friend, Louis Cartier, who designed the world's first ever wristwatch. And because it was a very handmade creation, it was almost a prototype, it had the exposed screws around the watch. And that element, which you could almost say is a lack of finishing, became iconic. As with a lot of Cartier's designs, they have really stood the test of time over the years. And it's one thing that I love, absolutely love about Cartier is that they are very true to their heritage and they're not just going with the times and with the fashions. They really have a concrete history, which they call upon with all of their designs. Santos de Cartier is the one that resonates most with me because I like how understated it is, even in this beautiful yellow gold color. This one, as opposed to the platinum frame, is 23 karat gold, which is definitely a little bit more blingy, but I think because it is rimless and there isn't too much gold, I think it works. I think you could definitely wear it as an everyday frame if you have the right personality. You know, if you are someone who dresses really well most days, or as a best pair for special occasions when you really want to make an impression. What I would say is that the shield shape stops it from being overly formal because this is quite a casual lens shape actually. And as with most rounder shapes, it's kind of quirky as well, which I really like. I think there is a little bit of an artistic element to these frames. It's not just the classic quintessential luxury that you usually see with Cartier. So not only do they feel good to wear, they look amazing as well. The real beauty of these frames lies in the details because within the construction of these, when you look closely, we have, first of all, a bridge shape that has never been done before. It gets narrower towards the center and then spreads its wings towards the edges, which I love. As it gets closer to the lenses, it opens up to accommodate the shape of them. And not only that, but my favorite detail about these new frames is the rounded drill holes, which means that the exposed screws are perfectly positioned right in the center of that circle. It's the kind of attention to detail 
that really does separate Cartier from any other designer brand. And I mean any other designer brand. And I've said many times before that unlike most fashion brands, Cartier stand almost like an independent brand where even if you didn't have the logo, you had no branding, you didn't even know it was Cartier, it's still an incredible piece of eyewear design. And that is the thing that makes them special to me and that's why we talk about them so often on this channel because they cross that bridge, that divide between the world of you know fashion brands and licenses and true independent eyewear, true craftsmanship. But it doesn't end there. As beautiful as those rimless glasses are, I also have an amazing, not technically new, but kind of new Santos de Cartier sunglass. So this is actually the 0326S and it's not necessarily a new model. But what is new and equally special about these sunglasses is the finish on the frames. You see, up until this point, all Cartier glasses and sunglasses have been either 23 karat gold or platinum. Or in the case of the solid gold models, you do have rose gold. But these are neither. What are they? They are PVD coated. And if you know, the Santos de Cartier wristwatch is available in an all black finish, which is PVD coated. Not for everyone. It has a really sleek, extremely ultra modern look. And I would say that these sunglasses equally have an ultra modern and sleek look. They're very low key compared to most of Cartier. And I said earlier, that is what I like about Santos de Cartier. These are even more so because they're not so shiny. The black finishing on the metalwork contrasts really nicely against the matte gray lens rim, which equally contrasts against the lens itself. It's a beautiful three-tiered construction, which, oh my God, I mean, I just love it. I do think that you could really tone these up a little bit by maybe having a different colored lens. And being black, they will really act as a blank canvas. You could put literally any lens tint into these frames and they would look awesome. I would consider wearing them with my favorite sweet violet tint, which is like a lilac purpley color. I love that tint so much. I think these would be a good match, but seriously, you can customize these to your heart's content and they will go with anything. And speaking of customization, to round off the video, I have got two lens samples, which if you're looking to customize these new Santos de Cartier rimless glasses is exactly what I would choose. So these lenses are Photofusion X flash technology. What it means is, this has a base gold finish on the lens. It's very subtle, but against the skin, you can kind of see it when it catches the light. This lens has a ruby finish to it. And within the material of the lens, we have Photofusion technology. So this coloration, I would definitely pair with the gold frame. This, when exposed to UV light, is going to activate to a gray green tint with that amber finish. The result is a beautiful green and gold combination which should just look absolutely sumptuous with the 0408. So what Photofusion flash technology means is you'll have a lens that goes from virtually clear but with a little bit of a hint of color inside, in this case gold, to a full sunglass lens outdoors. And Photofusion X activates 80% faster than any other photochromic lens, meaning that it's almost instantaneous. I mean, you can see how quickly that activates to become a full sunglass when you step outside. These glasses are too nice to just wear indoors and having Photofusion flash technology means you get not only a good pair of sunglasses, but an incredible pair of sunglasses built into your glasses. Of course, that tint probably wouldn't suit the platinum colorway. And that is why I chose the blue and ruby Photofusion combination to match to that. So when this activates, this is going to go to a beautiful blue tint with a hint of red or pink on the front surface. And it's all about creating combinations of tint and flash coating to really make the most of your eyewear. With Photofusion X Flash, again, you've got a beautiful pair of sunglasses when you're outdoors and a beautiful pair of clear glasses when you're indoors. And the Platinum with Blue and Ruby is one of my absolute favorite ever combinations. We've made it for so many clients around the world now. Without exception, they are blown away. But the green and gold is arguably more classic a lot of the Cartier sunglasses come stock with a green tint. I think green and gold with Cartier is just unmistakable, but the blue and ruby is definitely that little bit more intriguing, I think. But which would you pick, the platinum or the gold? Or would you opt for the all black Santos de Cartier sunglasses? But more than anything, I hope you've loved this video. I have loved showcasing for you those beautiful details and finishing touches on the new Santos de Cartier frames, and hopefully giving you some inspiration on how to customize yours to make them perfect for you. 
If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. And if you want to be part of an amazing community of eyewear enthusiasts, make sure to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.